Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Wishing Tales. Today we are going to learn how to use this flower ruler. Or at least that's what I call it. Um, I don't do round paintings too often, but this might be useful for those of you who do. Um, we're going to find out together. So this is how it came. Just, you know, it was just in its own little package. It is flexible. Although I'm not going to flex it too much because I don't want it to bend. But it, it shows that it's flexible, but you can't see it. Let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, see, it is flexible. So we're just going to work on this little corner down here. And see how it works. So let me see if I can get her lined up. And I do have my glasses on today. Yay me. Um, seems like it's a little pain to line. Yeah, see, I got it off right there already. Let me see how that looks. Hold. How's that look? Nope, still a little off, isn't it? I don't know. It seems like this takes longer than, you know, just putting them down. I don't know. I guess it depends on how straight you want them. How's that look? Does that look better? Okay, and it obviously just sticks there. Alright, so I have some colors here we're going to work up together. Um, hopefully I don't miss any. So all you do is just put your... Here, let me get a little bit of light here. Is that a little better? Maybe, maybe not. I don't want the glare on the thingy. Okay, well, that's good enough. So let me just put it I mean, you know, it's, it's easy enough. Like I said, I don't do round paintings enough to probably bother with this. I think I have one round in my stash and that's only because it didn't come in square. If it came in square I would have got it in square. Um, I know there's some people who only do rounds. So if you only do rounds this might be something good for you. I mean because I'm not really I mean, other than seeing where the letters are, I'm not really paying attention to where I'm placing it. Um, yeah, other than looking at the letters, I'm not really paying attention to placement because you can hear when you're down far enough. Let's see, i got to figure out where you guys can see so I don't go too far off here. We'll just finish up this little section. And then we'll take it up and figure it out. Um, I hope it doesn't pop them back up. I don't think it will. Just because the, the diamonds seem to be fitting in nicely. And I think, too, when you're doing it... You'll be able to tell if the diamonds are too big. So that's a plus. And I'm sorry if it's shaking a little bit. I'm, I'm on my um, I'm on my little TV stand today. Just because it was easier with the camera set up. So, yeah, so that's my H's. I'm not going to worry about those couple over here on the side. So we're just going to do from this area over. And then see what it looks like. Um, this is the Eeyore. And I'm, I'm probably not going to do a time lapse on Eeyore. I'll just finish them up and post them. 
and then um only because you know we're doing this and I can't really start where I usually start I usually start at the top but for this demonstration I'm just starting at the bottom because it's easier to get to let's uh, see these are my E's and of course it's almost easier to see on here than it is on the camera than it is in person because I can't get right up to it like I usually do like I said I'm not really I'm just looking to where the letters are those F's and E's are really close aren't they Okay, in the camera it doesn't look as close, but in person they look really close. Hard to tell the difference. So I'm kind of peeking up at the camera. I'm cheating a little bit. Using the camera as a as a magnifying glass. <laughs> Cause I'm zoomed in tight for you guys. Let's see. This one here seems like it might be a little too big. Plus those little um, tabs that we get, it'll keep you from having popping drills. I would think it would keep you from having popping drills. Let's see here, there's more E's. I know these are probably crystal clear to you guys, and they are clear. They're just hard for me to see with the way the light's glaring. So I hope you guys are having a good morning while I'm doing this. So I think I got all my E's. I can't see what that, what, what is that, that's a J, that's an F. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. Okay, so there's my E's. Sorry, I'm just putting my diamonds back in the container here. So we're just gonna do a little bit of it. I really didn't want this to be this long. Okay, these are G's. So let me try and get this done so we can see what it looks like. Got a piece of my fur baby on here. The last few nights we've had the storms go through and our electric went out. Couldn't diamond paint. But then this little light that I have, that you can't see it right now, but this little light that I have up here, it's just a little battery operated LED light. And um, I turned that on and I did a little partial that I had and this morning I, I did the other little partial that I had. But yeah, this, are those G's or C's? I think they're C's, I don't know, I can't tell. No, that's a G, that's a G, okay. These C's and G's are really close. Oh no, here we go, C's are purple. Okay, here we go. I figured it out. So I'll tell you what guys, let me fill this in and then we will, I will get back with you. I'm going to finish filling these in and then we'll come back and see what it looks like when I pick it up. Be right back. 
Okay. So now let's see what we have here. Didn't mean to sound like I was singing there. Lord knows nobody wants to hear me sing. So I'm just, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just getting up underneath this. And just pulling straight up. And there you have that. And then you just go back in and fill them back in. Looks pretty cool with flowers. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. The reason I say that is because I don't do round paintings enough to know if it's going to slow me down. I, I kind of think it would slow me down a little bit to have to do that. Um, but I really don't know because I don't do them enough to worry about it. I mean, this one here I got for this purpose. Um, and my mom likes Eeyore, so that's no big deal. I could just give it to her when I'm finished. Put up what letter was that D? And um but I and other than the one round painting I got, which I probably won't use this one. Maybe I I tell you what, maybe if it was like a bunch of like maybe three tens or you know the nine thirty nines or or the thirty whatever the fifty two hundreds and for those of you who don't know, those are different colors. 310s are black. 939s are like a really dark blue. 5200s are kind of like an off-white background. But, um, sorry, I had to throw that in there. But I really don't know that I would use this for this because it seems like too much of a pain in the butt to keep changing the colors. And and I don't have the, the big setup where you have like a bunch of trays, a bunch of trays all at once. Um, I usually work out of one tray. You know, it's not fast, but I'm not doing this to be fast anyway. Because, you know, it relaxes me. It calms me down. Let's me settle in for the day or the night. Uh, I do it in the morning because, you know, I like to. And then sometimes I'll do it in the evenings. Like if my husband goes to sleep early because he gets up early. So anyway, sorry guys, my light pad died on me. Um, I hope you can see it. I'm just filling them in uh, to see how straight it keeps them or doesn't keep them. Looks like it's keeping them pretty darn straight. And you can tell when you put the diamonds down whether or not they're good as far as the diamonds are concerned. And I'm, Oh, sorry, hit the camera. I'm just trying to get some more of this filled in for you. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. And I'll just speed up this part. So you guys don't have to wait too long. So there you have it guys, the flower ruler. Um, it does keep them straight. I mean, you, that's pretty darn straight if you ask me. And I wasn't even trying to keep them straight. In fact, I was trying not to keep them straight. So the ruler does help you keep it straight. Um, and you can tell if the, if the diamonds are too big, it's not gonna let you push them down in there. Um, for me, 
$8.09 for this is not worth it only because I don't do a lot of round paintings. I mean, this one here is only my third painting that I've ever had round. I have one more that's round and that's only because it didn't come in square. So, um, yeah, for me personally, no, but for those of you who do a lot of round paintings, it might be worth it. You know, something different that you can use, something that'll help you keep them really, really straight. And uh, I mean, look at this, this, this is really straight. I don't think I could do that without it, honestly. So yeah, so there you go. Um, stay tuned on Monday. I have another unboxing for you. And Tuesday, of course, is the time lapse with the Mickey and Minnie beach scene. And then Wednesday, I have something special coming. It's going to be a new um, segment. We're going to call it Whipping and Wishing Wednesdays, uh, where it's kind of like a whipping chat. But I'm going to tell you what I'm wishing to get the next time I order. And you guys can leave comments with what you wish you, you had. So remember to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that little bell over there to tell you when I have new videos up. And you guys have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye.